The math club has 18 members. According to the bylaws, they need to have a president, a vice president, and a secretary. And we want to know how many different ways can these positions be filled. So again, we have three positions to fill, the president, the vice president, and the secretary, and there are 18 people to choose from. That means there are 18 options for who can be president. Once there's a president, though, there are only 17 people left to choose from for the vice president, and then 16 people left to choose from for the secretary. If we multiply these options together using the fundamental counting principle, we get 4,896 possibilities for how many ways we could fill these three positions. The other way to do this problem is to think of it as a permutation problem. Since order matters when we select these people, because when we select them, we then organize them into one of these positions, we think of this as a permutations problem, and so we use the permutation formula, where n is 18, that we're choosing from 18 people, and r is 3. We select three people and organize them into one of these categories. So we get n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. So if we go to the calculator and type in 18 factorial divided by 15 factorial, we get the same answer we found in the first part. And of course, if we use the built-in permutation formula, we'll get the same thing as well. 18, go to the math, probability menu, select NPR 3, because we're selecting three and organizing them, and we get the same exact answer. So again, multiple ways to do this problem, but the fundamental counting principle is probably the simplest to understand.